So you guys remember I did a video a while back on the strawberries um, that were in this bag and they've been in here for a couple years now. And so I decided I'd go ahead and get a shovel and scoop them out. I was gonna take the whole bag apart and just kind of dump it or whatever. But then there were ants in it. And so I decided I would scoop them out and then I just kind of bait the ants once I put them in their own container. These are alpine strawberries. They don't really uh, create runners. They just more or less, you know, grow in like bushy little patches. Yeah, they look pretty good. That one looks a little beat up down there on the end. He didn't, uh, I don't know, did he get attacked by something? Like aphids or something like that? Picked off the weaker one on the end there? Also, out in the tilled area, there's a few uh, gray squash that are up. There's one. There's That's nasturtium. And then there's the original one that I planted, and it's already got two or three sets of leaves. That's buttercup squash. That's butternut squash and butternut squash around those bricks. Yeah, I need to not get those confused. These bachelor's buttons, which, you know, I called them the blue boys because they're blue. Um, I know that's why they're called that. Um, but yeah, I was told they are bachelor's buttons. And there's a bunch of them about to open up. Some of my sunflowers have finally popped up also, so I'm really happy about that. I still have cucumbers that are coming up in the same spot that uh, we had cucumbers last season. There's some Russian kale, some regular kale. There's nothing in this uh, pot here. I just haven't moved it. This peppermint is browned a little bit because I threw in some fertilizer and peppermint was like, eh, a little bit of us will turn brown and wither, but we're gonna make up for that by sprouting over here in the dirt. <laughs> It's like, we don't die, we multiply. <laughs>